In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use kubekey to set up a single node cluster with both Kubernetes and KubeSphere deployed. We also call this type of installation all-in-one as we only have one node in the cluster. That means all your workloads will run on this single machine. Well, as we all know in reality, especially in a production environment, it is improbable that you only have one node in the cluster. So the all-in-one installation is for those who are new to KubeSphere and want to get more familiar with the container platform. So before I begin, uh, let's first take a look at the documentation all-in-one installation on Linux. So first, uh, you need to have a Linux machine. And the platform I'm going to use today is GCP. I will create an instance on GCP later. And you can have a look at hardware recommendations, load requirements, and dependency requirements. The second step is about uh, our installation tool, which is kubekey. So kubekey provides a convenient way for you to uh, install both Kubernetes and KubeSphere. Uh, in fact, you can also install Kubernetes only if you want. And the next step is uh, to use one command to start installation uh, directly, you don't need to do anything. And the final step is about the verification. You can check the results of the installation and access the web console of KubeSphere. So let's get started. First, uh, you need to log into GCP and go to the VM instance page, click create. Set a name for your instance, uh, for example, demo, installation. And you need to select the region and zone. Well, I will just use the default values. And for machine configuration, um, let's have a look at the requirements, the system requirements again. So that's, uh, that's the minimum uh, requirement so two cores uh, for CPU and 4G for memory, 40G for disk space. Well, uh, for example, for the demonstration, I will just select, um, for instance, four CPU and 16G uh, memory. And for the operating system, I will use Ubuntu and 100 GB for its size. For other settings, uh, you don't need to change anything. Just use the default values and click create. So basically GCP will do everything for you. Uh, it will assign an internal IP address and an external IP address to the instance. So the instance is ready now. I can use the SSH2 to connect to it. Before you download kubekey, make sure you are the root user. So sudo su. And now we can download kubekey. The file KK will be created automatically and we need to make it executable. Now I can use this command to install both Kubernetes and KubeSphere directly. Pay attention to the version number here. You can change it based, based on your needs. And that's the uh, command template. Also pay attention to the dependency requirements. Based on your Kubernetes version, the dependency that needs to be installed may be different. So since the version I'm going to install is 1.17.9, I don't need to install any uh, dependencies here. 
So just run this command directly. Yes. The installation starts automatically. And now you can just wait for the whole process to finish. As you can see, Docker will be um, installed as well. When you see the output like this, it means the installation is successful. And you can use this command to verify the result. Now you can see the link of the console. You can access it by a node port. Well, before we access the console, we need to make sure the port number The port number is added into your firewall rules. Well, this can be different depending on where your cluster is deployed. So on GCP, click set up firewall rules. Click create firewall rule. So for the name, for example, um, Sphere. default network and for the targets I will just select all the instances in the network and for source range for demonstration purposes I will just click allow all and click create and now let's get back to the instance page so that's the external IP address copy it On the login page, just use the default account and password. Login. Now let's take a look at the cluster information. Click platform and select clusters management. We can see that our node we can see that our node is running normally. And here are our service components. Everything looks fine. So that will be all for this tutorial. It's about all-in-one installation on Linux. Thank you for watching.